Yo guys, really quick before the video starts, according to YouTube's analytics, 98% of you that watch my videos aren't subscribed, which is like, what are you doing, bro? Just hit the button. All right, guys, enjoy the video. Yo, what's going on, ladies and gents? My name is Arbuckle. Welcome back to another video. Today, we are once again back on Modern Warfare, and I wanted to share with you guys the best class out of the new MP5, the cover-up blueprint. Uh, this is a blueprint available in the Modern Warfare Season 3 Battle Pass, so if you haven't unlocked it yet, you probably will very soon. Uh, it's a cool gun. I really like using the silenced MP5. It's one of my favorite weapons in the game and in a lot of Call of Duty games. However, we have a really stupid optic on this thing that is completely unnecessary and no one's going to be able to do well with so uh, I want to make a class setup so much better than this so if you guys take a look at the stats that come with the original blueprint you guys will see that the stats are pretty nice we get a really nice boost to accuracy damage and range and a small boost to control we end up losing a bunch of mobility and fire rate however the problem is most of the stat buffs come from this stupid optic the solo zero NVG enhance which is completely unnecessary for a submachine gun especially this mp5 uh, so I'm going to share with you guys a much better silenced mp5 class setup that will be good from range uh, but will also be really good from up close and have good aim down sight speed as well as sprint to fire speed. So if you guys take a look at the stats for the class setup that I'm going to share with you in this video, you guys will see we do just that. We take off that horrible optic and we get a really nice boost to accuracy, range, mobility, and control. Overall, a really powerful, fun, run and gun MP5 class setup. So if you guys take a look at the attachments, the muzzle that we're going to be using is the monolithic suppressor. So we're running the silencer because I wanted to keep that same silenced MP5 feel to the original blueprint. So we're going to be using that monolithic suppressor, giving us sound suppression as well as damage range giving us a small boost to accuracy and range here we're not going to be using a barrel the laser that we're running is the 5mw laser so this is really going to help our uh, hip fire accuracy obviously one of those uh, pros is hip fire accuracy as well as sprint to fire speed uh, so very good for those running gun moments running around corners through doorways when you run into someone really fast uh, you can start hip firing and have much better accuracy so we get a really nice boost to accuracy and mobility here with this 5mw laser we're not going to be using an optic. We took off that stupid whatever that was. It was so pointless, so stupid. Uh, so we're not going to be using an optic. The stock that we're using is the FSS close quarter stock. So this is going to improve our aim down sight speed, which is obviously really nice to have with this run and gun and silenced MP5 class setup, uh, giving us a really nice boost to mobility here. So again, the FSS close quarter stock. The underbarrel that we're using is the tactical foregrip. So we're using the tactical foregrip to really improve that control, to really get that control back up. Uh, you guys will see that with this, we still get a nice boost to accuracy and range, a very, very small boost. Um, and we lose a very, very small amount of mobility, which we'll make up for with the last attachment. But with this specifically, we get an absolutely massive boost to control with that aiming stability pro and uh, is really, really important with these SMGs. So the tactical foregrip underbarrel. We're not running any extra ammunition. Uh, we're going to use the standard extra uh, ammunition. We're actually be using the 10 millimeter auto 30 round mag. Uh, and last but not least, the rear grip that we're using is stippled grip tape. So this is going to give us aim down sight speed as well as sprint to fire speed, like I said, giving us that final boost to mobility here. And overall, just a really powerful running gun class setup that I think a lot of you will be able to do really, really well with. So uh, I'll give you guys one last look at all the stats and attachments that come with this specific class setup. If you guys have any questions about this specific class setup or the original blueprint, please make sure to leave them down in the comment section below, and I'll be sure to try to help some of you guys out. But I really hope you guys did enjoy this video. Please make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I'll see all you guys in the next video.